here we go, fans. This is the one that we've all been waiting for. With Mr. Ed Brochin from the Midwest USA team against Enrique Rodan from Mexico. Enrique was the junior champion. Whoa, and the action right off the bat. They're going at each other. He almost got him. I was reading my stat sheet and I just saw that one fly by. Enrique was the junior national champion of 1997 for Mexico. Here they come, always pursuing him with that speed off the line. You gotta love a bantamweight division. They're watching. Well, Mr. Brochin was here just a minute ago, and I'm all alone. It's kind of empty in the booth. He ran off to go tape his feet in a big hurry. Oh, there he goes. Still pretty close. Whoa, that seemed that seemed to catch him on the uh, in the tender spot. This gives me a good opportunity to tell you a little bit about the accomplishments of Mr. Brochin. He's going to have to take a little bit of a timeout. Uh, Mr. Brochin is the 1996 and 1997 Indiana State Champion. Also the bronze in the International Caribbean Open 97. Bronze in the International Cup of the Americas 97. Bronze in the Pan American Open 97. And bronze in National Collegiate 1997. Back to the action now. Still in round one. They're still getting a feel for each other. Waiting, waiting. The younger player looks a little anxious. Just missing there with his counterattack. The oh, there he got him. Up and underneath, he got him. That was a pretty one. You can see that the experience is kind of playing a, a, a super part here because the, uh, the Mexican player is really he looks a little bit anxious, like he, he wants to make it all happen right now. He's not waiting for the whole fight to unfold. Ten seconds! Waiting, waiting. Getting, getting really off balance with that wide stance, too. He's going to be in trouble here if he doesn't if he makes a mistake. There's, well, that's what he was waiting for. I don't know if that was clean. And that looks like the end of the first round. Here we go with round two of the second male bantamweight semifinal championship fight. Again, Mr. Brochin in blue against the Mexican in red. It seems like Mr. Brochin has a bit of a lead here because the, uh, the uh, red player is coming out with a little bit of a flurry, like uh, he feels the need to score quickly. Checking out the scoreboard there, you can see that he's trying to find out when he can get a point. Stall game now starting to play. I saw a little head swagger. There's a point. Oh, it's always that second time just coming in there, not giving up after the first or second kick. Look at that. Oh, he had him so <laughs> pegged there. He just waited for him to make a move and just right turned out of the way and counterattack. Boom, another point. He's starting to pull away now. He'll be able to start uh, playing a little bit more defensive match because he got those two additional six points here in the second round. There he is, just coming in, cutting off the attack, tying him up, letting the clock run. You can see the experience of that, of uh, uh, Mr. Brochin, the older player here, much more seasoned. Now a little quick cut kick off the front leg, saying, nope, you're not coming close to me, buddy. There he is, another fast point. That's lightning quick off the line. There's another point. It's starting to be a blowout here. But no one ever gives up in this sport. Oh, they're still coming. Oh, right out of the ring. Whoa, yes. That was pretty. Both players throwing, throwing a lot of flurry in action. So I think, again, Mr. Brochin got the better of that exchange. Step in, cut him off. Just a couple of times saying, you're not getting close enough to me. Coming off the line quickly. Okay, I'll trade you a point here because I'm so far up in the match. Time's got to be running low now. Just watching the clock, staying away, using your head. Quick D Chuggy out of the ring. And that's got to be just about it, and that's it. Winner in the blue corner, Ed Brochin, Midwest USA. A valiant effort by the young Mexican, though. He's going to value this experience down the line. He's a good fighter.